Hey guys, welcome to another video and welcome to another pass, grab, or undecided video. If you are new to my channel or new to my pass, grab, or undecided series, this is my take on Samantha Marches Will I Buy It? So I always have Samantha listed down below. I have the community playlist listed down below. So if you enjoy videos like this where we are talking about new makeup releases and our thoughts, is it something I want to grab? Do I want to pass on it? Am I a little undecided? Go ahead and check out Samantha and the community playlist down below. But if you are new hello welcome my name is Kelly I love all things makeup and beauty I love talking I love makeup I love talking about makeup so if you like to talk about makeup too I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K Bella fam because I do post new videos on Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays but why don't we go ahead and jump into this one <laughs> Okay, I scooted over so I can upload pictures here. Sometimes I feel like I have to play catch up because being a teacher and pre-filming, I try to upload my past grab or undecideds on every Wednesday, but sometimes I miss a week. However, we have nine products to talk about today. The first is a collection by Artist Couture and it is the Fresh Face Forward Collection. <laughs> If you're not new here, then you may know that sometimes when words all start with the same letter, I get a little tongue-tied, but Artist Couture dropped a multi-use beauty powder in five shades. It's supposed to set, blur, and perfect the skin. Then we have a Prep and Glow Blurring Perfection <laughs> Primer and a Silky Lip Oil. My guess is that these are available at Sephora. So it says May 21st on their website and May 25th online at Sephora. I'm going to pass. I do have the, what do I have from Artist Couture? The Supreme Nudes eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I have from Artist Couture. They're not a brand that really like stands out to me personally. I'm not like trying to pick up everything that they release. So this just doesn't. You know, I'm a dry skinned girl, so powders don't really stand out to me. A Prep and Glow Blurring Perfection Primer. I mean, it does say that it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E for hydrated skin, but I'm not really on a primer kick right now, and lip oils just aren't my thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this collection, but let me know down below, are you into Artist Couture? Are there some things that you would recommend? I'm open to trying them, I just, I just am not checking for them. You know? Next up is an eyeshadow palette by Glam Light. Now, Glam Light intrigues me. There's a palette of theirs. It's the, like, the Ice Cream Dream Pastel Palette. I go back and forth on that all the time. Like, do I want it? It's different. It's outside of my comfort zone. Pastels. I could try Glam Light. I think they came out with, like, the Donut Palette. I haven't picked anything up yet, but... They released their Red Velvet Cupcake Palette, and I actually saw Amy Loves Makeup review this palette, so I'll have her video listed down below. I haven't gotten a chance to watch that video yet, but I do know that she reviewed it, and I just, I just don't know. I really like Red Velvet Cupcakes and Red Velvet Cake. Fun fact, my husband and I actually had Red Velvet Cake when we got married, but this is not really, this color story isn't me. It looks like there are mostly like pinks and pops of purple. It does look like you have two red shades in there. It's supposed to come in an oven PR box. It looks like you have six shimmers and six mattes. So if you're someone who really likes an even amount of mattes and shimmers, you may like that. It's supposed to have berry tones and everyday shades. Uh, where are the everyday shades? Because if you are boring, basic, and intra-neutrals like myself, these are not everyday shades for me. I'm passing on it. I am going to watch Amy's review. I would like to hear other people's thoughts when they try this out. I still do want to try Glam Light. <laughs> Why am I so tongue-tied? I do still want to try Glam Light, so if there's anything that you've tried of theirs that you really recommend, let me know down below. It does look like if you order directly from the Glam Light website and you use the code TRENDMOOD, you can get 10% off. I'm kind of in this phase where if I can get a percentage off, I don't really desire to pay full price. So 
I'm always looking for a deal. Like when I got the ColourPop Limoncello palette, I waited for ColourPop to have a sale. I really want their pretty fresh foundation, but I've seen it go on sale at Ulta and their website, so I'm waiting for that. Like, there are times I did just make a repurchase of my... Uh, pharmacy cleansing balm and my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and I needed those because I ran out but there wasn't really a sale going on so I picked it up but I feel like with new makeup items I just ordered I talked about this last week the Jouer French Riviera palette and I ordered that but I got it from the Jouer website with the trend mood code so I'm kind of in this stage of life where if there's a code I'm gonna use it and I want to save some money so let me know if you have any glam light recommendations the next item that I want to talk about is a new brush set, or I don't really know if it's a, a set. Perhaps it is the Goss Edit Collection by Wayne Goss. So there are seven brushes for the face and the eye. It looks like they are handcrafted in Japan. Now I don't see a price and I don't have any of his brushes already, but I think they're pricey. If I'm remembering correctly, I really like the black handle. I know Wayne Goss is a well-respected makeup artist. I am passing because I have some favorites. I actually did post, when you see this, I do have a giveaway going on where I posted a video talking about if I could only keep 10 makeup brushes. So definitely check that out if you want to enter the giveaway and try out some brushes. But I have Sigma, I have Refer, I have BK Beauty, I have Real Techniques. Uh, what else? I have Morphe, Royal and Langnickel. I even have some Wet n Wild. Like, I just have a good amount of brushes. I have brushes that I really like. I have my favorites. And every now and then I try to dabble and like try different makeup brushes, but I usually go back to my old faithfuls. So for that reason, I'm going to pass. If you're interested, it does say that you can pick these up online at Beautylish. And if you've tried any of the Wayne Goss brushes, let me know down below. Do you have some favorites? If you could only keep 10, would Wayne Goss be in those 10? I would be interested to know. We all know that skin tints are a thing right now, especially if you're over on TikTok. Skin tints are a thing. Skin tints are not my thing, but now it looks like Makeup Revolution is coming out with a new CC skin tint. Skin tint. So CCs are supposed to be color correctors, so it's their Revolution Pro Cream Skin Perfector CC Skin Tint. That's a mouthful. So it's supposed to be a skin tint that has adaptive technology, meaning that it changes color to adapt to your skin tone once it's blended out. Plus there is a perfecting glow enhancer. It looks like this is going to be 16 US dollars, supposed to have just light, medium, tan, dark, and deep shades. Oh no, there's a few of each, okay. I misread that. There's a few of each, so they have different categories, and then, like they said, it's supposed to have a shade adapting technology. Uh, pass for me. It's a pass, but I think that's interesting. When I'm looking at the picture of the swatches, it looks like it almost comes out like a little bit clear or with a tint and then changes into a color. So I find that to be very interesting. I, I mean, I wanna know what people think. Like, I am curious. I wanna know what people think, but I'm just not going to be the one to try this out and review this. So if any of you pick it up, or if you've seen any reviews floating around, let us know so that we can check these things out or check this product out. But uh, again, don't pay full price for makeup if you don't have to. Trend Mood gives you 20% off online at Makeup Revolution. I filmed a video. Was it my makeup that I almost purchased during the Sephora VIB sale? And I talked about the Briogeo, like the shampoo and conditioner, the banana one. And I still do want to try that one out, but the reason why I passed on it was because I have a girlfriend that I work with every single day and she's allergic to banana. So I was a little bit apprehensive to try that out, but summer is coming up, so maybe I'll look into it. But Briogeo now has a new addition to the superfood family. 
with a Superfoods Mango and Cherry Oil Control and Balancing Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's $28 each. It's supposed to have papaya enzymes, mango extract, cherry extract, and it says that it's oil controlling and balancing. So my guess would be that if you are someone who has more oily, textured hair, or scalp, or you struggle with oils in your hair, then I think that this product is geared to you, which is not me. I do have more dry skin, more dry hair. My hair, it's not curly, but it's like wavy and frizzy, and I look for more like conditioning, hydrating, things of the sort. So I'm not really looking for an oil control and balancing shampoo and conditioner. So this is gonna be a pass for me, but I am interested in the Briogeo Banana Shampoo and Conditioner and just their line in general. I wanna check them out, but I won't be picking that one up. Glossier, they are a brand that I don't think I've tried anything from, but they have a couple items that I'm interested in. They just came out with a new Ultra Lip, so it's a buildable color of lip tint with a sheen gloss and a balm. So a tint, a gloss, and a balm all in one. They have nine shades and they're $18 each. Again, this is just a product that isn't geared toward me. I don't like lip oils. I don't like lip tints. I don't like, I'm not, I'm not really even into gloss. I do wear lip gloss, but I'm not into lip gloss. I much prefer a matte lip, a liquid lipstick, something that's going to dry down, especially under my mask, not be transfer proof. So this is not my cup of tea. However, I think the packaging is cute. I wanna try Glossier. I haven't tried anything yet, so if you have any favorites from the brand, let me know down below. I do think that it's nice that they have nine different shades. It looks like they have everything from like nude shades to pink to orange to deeper chocolate shades. So even though there are only nine shades, it looks like a nice variety. It's just not for me. So I'm gonna pass on it. I am wondering if I'm going to pass on everything. We'll see. We'll see if this is a full pass. I save things from the Trend Mood Instagram page as I see them, and I like kind of think about them in the moment, but it's really in these moments that I make a decision. So next up is a collaboration between MAC Cosmetics and Disney and Cruella. Cruella DeVille. So they have three different lipsticks, a bright red, a light pink, and a blood red. Okay. Uh, then they have the retro matte liquid lip colors in like a brownie pinky neutral, a red, and a blood red. An eyeliner, a lash, some face brushes, eye brushes, an eyeshadow palette, a powder blush duo. And really, I think everything is a pass. The eyeliner brushes lashes for sure pass. The blush duo, yeah, that's a pass. The eyeshadow palette, I have no interest in. The only two things where I'm kind of like, huh? Are the matte lipstick in Sweet and Vicious, which is the light pink, and the retro matte liquid lip color in Queen of Mean, which is the brownie pinky neutral. I don't know that I will actually pick anything up, but those are the two that I would want. I just feel like when you look through my lip collection, all of the lipstick shades are pretty much the same. Like pinky neutrals, nudes, like that's my vibe. I do have a red on for you today, but uh, yeah. Those are really the only two things that I would pick up. I haven't tried their retro matte formula, so let me know if you have tried that out. I did just mention that I do really enjoy liquid lipsticks, so I would like to try that, but it looks pretty deep in the swatch. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually pick it up, but those would really be the only two things that I would pick up. And I do like, I know Matt, Mac does like a lot of collaborations, a lot of collections, but I do really like when they have fun packaging. And so they have this new like two-toned packaging for the collection, which I think is really cool. Here's one that I'm undecided. I'm on the fence and I want to know your thoughts. I'm kind of on a ColourPop kick. I have went from having no ColourPop palettes to having a few. I have the Hocus Pocus, I have uh, the Taupe palette, the Child palette, I recently picked up the Lemoncello palette. Are those all my ColourPops? 
I think so. I'm recently on a ColourPop kick, and they came out with their So Very Lovely collection. It's part of like their summer 2021. I'm sure they'll have plenty, plenty of other collections coming out this summer, but I'm speaking specifically about the So Very Lovely eyeshadow palette for $18. Initially, I was like, pass, not into it. But then, I just kept seeing it come up, and I was like, but do I want it? Do I want it? It doesn't look like there are any pressed glitters. Don't like the pressed glitters. It doesn't look like there are any of their Super Shock formula. Don't like their Super Shock formula. There's just like this beautiful pop of purple, which I'm like, okay, that draws me in, but am I gonna wear purple all the time? No, and I have tiny marvels, but then there's this like coral shade. I don't know that I have a coral in my collection. There's this dream catcher, which is like a deep, burnt red shade that I don't think I have anything like that in my collection. The shimmer shades look beautiful and I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. At first I was like, pass, not getting it, but now I'm kind of interested. And I did look it up on the ColourPop website. I considered it and I haven't purchased it yet because it's $18 and although that is affordable, I want a deal. I want to see if it's something that they put on sale. So at first launch, like no, I'm not picking it up on first launch. If I did get it, I might wait and see. ColourPop is always running sales. I might wait and see if this is something where maybe it comes to Ulta and does Ulta have a coupon code or does it go on sale. If it doesn't end up going on sale and I want it, I could use the code TRENDMOOD for 10% off. But let me know your thoughts down below on this palette. Are you going to grab it? Are you going to pass on it? Would you want to see me grab it and do a look? Because I'm a little bit on the fence. Then we will round it out with my last item, which is also a an eyeshadow palette, and it is by Adept Cosmetics. How do you say it? Co Codian? Codian? Codian palette? This already launched, and you can use the code Amy Loves from Amy Loves Makeup for some money off. But this palette has 10 shades. You have this like bright pink, you have this very like matte green, you have these beautiful shimmer shades. I know my friend Heather Austin really loves the Adept formula, and guys, I am kind of. <gasps> I'm kind of kicking myself because my friend Heather Austin did this whole like Adept video with their singles and I will list her video down below. She did this whole thing showing all of the the shades that she has in their singles and I wrote them down the ones that I wanted and I went to the Adept Cosmetics website and for 30 something dollars you could make your own palette and I actually put in all of the shades and I was going to make my own palette and this was back in February. The reason why I didn't was because I was am was am on a low buy, whatever you want to say, low buy. And so I was like, ooh, this would put me over my low buy. I'm already over it. So I was like, let me just wait, okay? Then March came, and I almost purchased it again in the beginning of March, but some new stuff came out, and I knew the Sephora VIB sale was coming out, and I was like, <laughs> I do this to myself sometimes. I was like, I can get these whenever. They're singles. I can get them whenever, and I never purchased them. Then Adept came out with Plain Jane and they came out with, ooh, what was the other one that just launched? The other palette that just launched, I can't remember the name of it. Now they have this palette and I never picked up my Create Your Own palette and now they're like completely out of stock of everything. Adept has taken off. I am not going to purchase this eyeshadow palette. It's not my color story. I'm going to pass on it, but I am definitely kicking myself for not getting that Build Your Own palette when I should have, when I could have. So let us know what you think down below of the Adept Cosmetics formula. I'm interested to try them out, but I will be passing on this palette for now. But that is going to do it for this week's Pass, Grab, or Undecided. Let me know down below what you think of any of these releases. Did I miss a release that you're really excited about? I would love to know in the comments down below. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you'll subscribe and stay a while. And you may not care about this last part, but those of you who are like my returning friends, my returning K-Bella fam, I did just want to give you a heads up. I don't know that I'll have a Pass, Grab, or Undecided next week. And pretty soon, my background is going to be changing. 
So you guys might know, like I took a break from YouTube and uh, before my break, I had a whole beauty room. A whole room to myself with all of my beauty stuff. If you look at my older videos, you see that background. I had my daughter. My beauty room became her bedroom, and I moved into the guest bedroom. So, like, my vanity is right here off to the side. This is, like, the bedroom closet, and literally the guest bed is right in front of me. But... Uh, my mom is moving in and so this room is going to be her room so when I'm done filming today my husband and I are going to start trying to move all of my beauty stuff that's over here into our bedroom so I'll be moving into a different room which means I gotta work on my background I gotta work on the lighting again so things might be off for a little bit and you may see this background in a few more pre-filmed videos and then you may see like a different background meshed in between but just a heads up that's what's going on my mom's moving in so we got to move everything out of here but that is going to do it for this one thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>